You know, I've been getting the question on Instagram and on Twitter and well, a bunch of other social media stuff as well. And I've been getting the question, why did you create THG? What is the purpose of THG? I told you guys before what the purpose of THG was and I now ended up changing what it was going to be about. You see, THG was going to be about bringing new talent that has never wrestled before, bringing them into my college, ASWA, training them, working them as hard as I can until they just can't take anymore. Because just, just that little amount of pain, that little amount of pain, tiredness, sometimes you'll be sick, just that little amount of pain improves a lot. I mean, I'm taking these superstars from people who worked at McDonald's to people who are becoming champion. I mean, take, take a look at Stephen X. Rachel, for instance. All right. <laughs> He worked in a food truck before I picked him up, brought him to HWA, and now he is the Hardcore of Honor champion. And he is only 19. Anthony Jushin, 22 years old. He was a drive through drive through guy, drive through cashier at Burger King. I brought him in to HWA. One time, THG World Heavyweight Champion at the age of 22. Nick Brock, he has some appearances in NXT. And he would lose every one of those matches. He didn't know what he was doing. He didn't have much wrestling experience. Not only that, but he was also a fast food guy. Believe it or not, he actually worked at the same Burger King as Anthony Jushin. 21 years old. TSG World Heavyweight Champion. Current. All these guys I am taking, they are small average people. Average class, not poor, not rich, just average. And I'm making them into a megastar. Champions. That is the whole point of THG. Now, let me get on to other reasons. Vince McMahon is this close to crossing the line with me. You see, Vince McMahon believes in giving everybody a second chance. That's what he says. He says that he gives everyone you know, a chance, an opportunity at becoming champions. Do you know how hard everyone has to work to become champion? But Vince McMahon, on the other hand, he only looks at certain people. Oh, look at Charlotte Flair, Ric Flair's daughter. Give her a title match. Look at Roman Reigns. Now, Roman Reigns is an incredible athlete, no doubt about it. But look at Roman Reigns, Samoan, Cousins, with Jim, Jimmy and Jey Uso and The Rock, give him a championship opportunity. You have Jimmy and Jey Uso, the same exact thing. Give the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Oh my gosh, Mandy Rose, she's blonde, she's hot. Let's give her a title match. That is what Vince McMahon sees. I'm not going to give someone a championship opportunity because of who they are. I'm not going to give them a championship opportunity because of their family's legacy in this company. I don't give a damn if Charlotte's father is Ric Flair. I wouldn't just hand her an opportunity. I would make her work for it. Because you have to amount to pain to become a champion. Just because you win a championship, it doesn't mean that you're a champion. Just because you win a championship. No, it's what you do to get to that point that makes you a champion. If you, just, if you just get handed the opportunity, you're not a champion. You just got handed that opportunity and walked out lucky. It's a script, guys. WWE is a script. Not many people say that because they don't want other people to know about it. But almost everybody knows about it. It's, they make it so predictable to be like, this is definitely scripted. I mean, Braun Strowman lifting a Jeep. Pulling a 17,000 pound tractor trailer. You can't do that in real life. 
You have to be a robot, like a nine foot tall robot to be able to do something like that. It's all scripted, the whole show. And I'm actually this close to taking THG, separating it from WWE and separating it to its own show. When I was a kid, five years old, I started watching wrestling. At the age of 10, I started training for wrestling. Five years old, I remember the Attitude Era. I remember WWF, either WCW, Monday Nitro, Monday Night Raw, back when it was good. I remember all of that. I do. And it was great. You couldn't tell it was scripted. Because of how the shows were back then, I didn't realize it was scripted till later on. Till like years after. Which I at least started training for it. That was like, this show was scripted? They didn't really act like it. But now it's just so obvious that it's scripted. But THG is not about scripts. It's not about handing people the opportunity, just handing it to them. You work for it because you have no pain and you don't gain anything. No pain, no gain. That is what I believe in. If you want to gain something in THG, you got to go through pain, amounts of pain and suffering. Because I want to test everyone's limits. I want to test how far someone can go before they just say, I can't do this anymore. That is what I believe in. That is what makes a champion. Someone that will risk their life, that will do anything they can to be a star, to be a champion. That is what I believe in. That is what makes a champion. So for THG, there is no script. There is no telling you're going to win this match. Or you're going to win this match. You do anything you want to on THG. You have 100% complete control on THG there will be steel cage matches there will be held in cell matches there will be ladder matches there will be extreme rules matches THG is going to be the modern day ECW it's going to be the attitude era of 2019 and forward that is what THG is going to be and pretty soon if Vince McMahon keeps what he's doing if he keeps it up THG, I am pulling it from WWE and making its own show. So it's not even going to be a part of WWE. It's going to be its own thing, like AEW, just better. So I can show Vince McMahon exactly how to run the promotion. I'm not just saying this stuff because I want to. I'm saying this stuff because it's true. It's the facts. He's got to face facts. He's got to understand what he's getting himself into. He's got to understand the repercussions that he is bringing to WWE. All these people are going to leave. If he doesn't change soon and I take THG away from WWE and make it its own show, it's going to become bigger than WWE because people don't want to see, you know, they don't want to see WWE and they don't want to see Total Divas and they don't want to see all that crap. They want to see wrestling. Hard hitting, aggressive, loud chanting wrestling. They want to see extreme wrestling they want to see championships defended between blood sweat and tears and that is what THG is going to be so ladies and gentlemen this week there will be no THG next Monday we start a new era for THG we start THG the attitude era